डॉक्टर आभा केमिस्ट्री की पाठशाला में आप सबका स्वागत है दिस वीडियो इज पर्टिकुलरली अबाउट द केमिकल टेस्ट फॉर वेरियस फंक्शन ग्रुप्स बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कन्वे माई हार्ट फिल थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू हु हैव गिवन एक्सिलेंट कॉमेंट्स ऑन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो दे हैव व्यूड द वीडियो एंड दे हैव लाइक द वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड विद दिस वन so now all the functional groups they can be identified by various chemical tests so there are two words one is test for identification and the other is test for distinction now how can we distinguish between these two words now test for identification is basically a test where when you have been given a compound and you know that it's a carboxylic acid and now you have to give a test to confirm that it's carboxylic acid right you can do any test you can do sodium metal test you can do esterification test you can do any uh, sodium bicarbonate test but now you've been given carboxylic acid and you've been given phenol now you have to perform a test to distinguish between these pair of compounds so now you can't do a sodium metal test because that is positive for both of them so you will be doing sodium bicarbonate test or any other test sodium bicarbonate test which is positive on acid or you can do neutrophilic chloride test or any other test which is positive uh, on uh, phenol or on uh, acid or even if they are positive on both of them they should give different observation right so what we'll be doing is we'll be doing all the chemical test and then one by one we'll be discussing which one can we use as an identification which can we can use as a distinction and which one we can use as both right so let's get started with the first one first we are doing test for aldehyde and ketone functional group now for aldehyde and ketone functional groups there are certain tests which are positive for both of them see both of them they have carbonyl function group so one is 2 for dnp test and other is sodium bisulfide test 2 for dnp you know the 2 for dinitrophenylhydrazine test will give a yellow ppt for all kind of aldehydes and ketones right okay so but yes the the way the ease at which these tests are shown definitely will depend upon the ease of the nucleophilic addition reaction right so 2 for dnp test positive for aldehyde positive for ketones sodium bisulfide test where aldehyde and ketones both having carbonyl group they give a white ppt okay so we cannot use these tests to distinguish between aldehyde and ketone because these tests are shown positive for both of them however we can use these tests as identification test for carbonyl which is present in aldehyde where and it is present in ketone also okay let's move on to certain more specific test for example for aldehyde now there are certain test which i have written tollens test also been called by silver mirror test in which you get a precipitate of silver now tollens test is given by aldehyde it is given by aliphatic aldehyde as well as aromatic aldehyde all aldehydes not shown by ketone not shown by acid not shown by alcohols so we can use it as a test which is is specific of aldehyde and you can use this to distinguish between aldehyde and any other class of compound right okay now let's move on to failing failing test is shown positive by only aliphatic aldehyde failing is a slightly weaker oxidizing agent than tollens so failing only acts on aliphatic aldehyde it doesn't act on aromatic aldehyde for example benzaldehyde will not act on it when you take failing uh, solution and you treat it with uh, any aliphatic aldehyde you get a precipitate you get reddish brown precipitate which is for cu2o right okay so next is schiff's reagent schiff's reagent it gives a magenta color for all aldehyde aliphatic as well as aromatic okay now benedict's test uh, benedict's test is only given by aliphatic aldehyde it is also given by certain specific ketones ketones which have got alpha hydroxy a very good example would be fructose they have got hydroxy at the next position 
to the ketone they also start showing the benedict's test so to be very precise that is why i put an asterisk so this test is positive for aldehyde but also positive for certain class of ketones right okay now suppose we have a question how to distinguish between benzaldehyde and acetaldehyde which test will we use benzaldehyde is an aromatic aldehyde acetaldehyde is an aliphatic aldehyde we can't use tolens tolens will show positive for both so kaun sa test hame use karna padega ek aisa test jo aliphatic aldehyde dikhayega aur aromatic nahi dikhayega aur aisa hota hai phalanx phalanx ek kamzor oxidizing agent hai so it is only working on aliphatic aldehyde so we can use phalanx let's move on to the more uh, uh, test for ketones now for ketones we have three test one is sodium nitroprusside test in which you get red precipitate other is beta dry nitrobenzene test you get violet coloration both these tests are not given in ncert but they are given in all your manuals of Uh, class uh, 12th where you are identifying the functional groups but they are not there in uh, ncert right now next is iodoform it's a excellent test to identify only those ketones where co is on the second position that is the methyl ketones wherever ch3 co group will be present you can i just need a chalk yeah so wherever CH3CO group will be present the iodoform test will be positive for example propanone butane to one pentane to one right and also also it will be positive for acetophenone how about benzophenone how about benzophenone no benzophenone has a ketone but benzophenone does not have a methyl ketone so benzophenone will not show positive iodoform so iodoform will be only for those uh, ketones which have got a methyl ketone could be aliphatic or aromatic depending upon ch3co is present or not right next we move on to certain class of aldehydes which show iodoform test for example ethanol if you draw the structure of ethanol it is ch3 c o h this is your ethanol just look at this group there is a methyl ketone so even certain aldehydes also show this uh, test for sure ethanol will show this test right think about certain alcohols which will show this test positive and put your answer in the comments right i'll check your answers right so now let's work out certain questions you are given a question to distinguish between propanone and ethanol you have to distinguish between propanol and ethanol i'll just pick up the duster yeah so one is propanone other is ethanol which of these test will you use okay we can't take see both of them have got carbonyl so we can't take any of these test they are there for aldehyde as well as ketone so now we have to take a specific test what you can do is you can take a specific test of ketone which is not shown positive by aldehyde sodium nitroprusside test beta di nitrobenzene test both the test will be shown positive by ketone but not by aldehyde on the other side let us pick up some certain test of aldehyde acetaldehyde is going to show positive tolens positive phalanx positive schiff positive benedix right and none of this test will be shown positive by ketone so i hope you are getting an idea as how to pick up these test when a combination of the compound is given suppose you are given benzaldehyde you are given benzaldehyde and benzophenone benzaldehyde and benzophenone 
right? Half of the kids, they get confused between the name only. Benzophenone, how do you remember your name? You have never thought about Benzophenone's name, how do you remember your name? बड़ा सिंपल सा तरीका है ये पार्ट जो होता है ना ये फिनोन होता है दिस ये दिस पार्ट इज फिनोन और इसको आप हमेशा जब भी आपको एरोमेटिक कीटोन होगा उसको आप फिनोन बोलेंगे और ये पार्ट जब बेंजीन से लगा रहता है तो कौन सा एसिड बनाएगा बेंजोइक एसिड तो नाम हो जाता है बेंजोफिनोन एनी वे लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस कंपाउंड एंड दिस कंपाउंड आर गिवन हाउ विल यू डिस्टिंग बिटवीन दैम वेरी सिंपल क्या करेंगे आप या तो आप कोई अल्डिहाइड का टेस्ट पकड़ लीजिए जो कीटो नहीं दिखाता टॉलेंस है शिफ्ट है फेलिंग्स नहीं दिखाएगा बिकॉज दिस इज एन एरोमेटिक अल्डिहाइड तो यू कैन पिक अप टॉलेंस यू कैन पिक अप शिफ्ट बेनेडिक्स को आप अवॉइड uh, कर सकते हो क्योंकि आप थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूज हो सकते हो एट दिस स्टेज अल्फा हाइड्रॉक्सी बट आपको दिखाई दे रहा है किसी के पास भी अल्फा हाइड्रॉक्सी कीटोन में अल्फा हाइड्रॉक्सी नहीं है तो आप राइट right? और प्लस बेनेडिक्स uh, के साथ थोड़ा होता है कि एरोमेटिक के साथ अच्छा से टेस्ट नहीं दिखाता है तो आप मेरे ख्याल से बेनेडिक्ट को तो बिल्कुल अवॉइड ही करिए बड़े अच्छे टेस्ट हैं आपके पास टॉलेंस है शिफ्ट है कोई भी कर सकते हैं टॉलेंस आपके एन में भी दिया हुआ है तो टॉलेंस कर लीजिए टॉलेंस इस पर पॉजिटिव आएगा इस पर नेगेटिव आएगा और अगर आप कीटोन का टेस्ट करना चाहते हैं आप इनमें से कोई भी टेस्ट कर सकते हो जो कि इस पर कॉज पॉजिटिव आएगा आयोडोफॉर्म इस पर पॉजिटिव नहीं आएगा सो आई होप विद दिस वीडियो लिटिल आइडिया यू हैव of you know which test to use for distinction between the compounds and which test to use for the identification of a particular compound so i'll be taking rest of the function group in the upcoming videos i hope this was some value addition to you okay so if you've liked the video give your good comments like it take care